Where? <laughs> Welcome back to Talking Ooh. Comics with Heroes and Villains. I'm Eric, and this is... Arnie. In front of this wall of uh, DC books with our friend Rob Liefeld. Oh, yeah. Which, he didn't do this book we're going to talk about, which is actually pretty good. But we wanted to address him anyway, Mr. Liefeld. The internets are abuzz with his doing. For those today. of you who don't know, Liefeld is uh, an artist who's been around since the 90s. He's been uh, in comics since he was, like, a teenager. And to his credit, he's a writer, too. Yeah, he just recently started writing. No, he was writing back in the day as well. Well, I guess for, for DC, for other companies, he's started writing recently. And uh, he had a, a meltdown. Do you want to talk about that? Do you uh, that? How should I put this? <laughs> it was on Twitter, yes, which was it, the most professional it, place to vent your frustrations. Right. It was a Twitter war between him <laughs> and the two giants, which are DC and Marvel. Yeah. And he was calling out editors in particular. Yeah. It, and this wouldn't be bad, per se, if, let's say, Rob Liefeld was, you know... Alan Moore. <laughs> well, uh, even then it would be well, kind of douchey. But well, as you're, yeah. or, or someone that has a lot of clout and immense amounts of talent in, yeah. a, in any industry. But it, it was largely looked at as like a favor that DC granted right. him by he, hiring him. For, for years, Rob Liefeld yeah. has been known as a, the joke of the comic book industry. Well, initially, we all liked him. He was a yeah. kid. I was a big he, fan in sixth grade. And he was a kid and he broke in and we yeah. were the same age. Like, he started working at, at Image when he was like 17, right? Uh, no, he was at Marvel. Or, well, yeah. he started at DC on Hawk and Dove and then he moved to Marvel. But he was he was a teenager. Right, right. He, he was a young, young kid. Yeah, he hadn't, hadn't hit 20 yet. So everyone yeah. loved he was him. A he, was, he was a little underdog. Yeah. And, uh, and then he kind of didn't get better. And he's right. like in his like almost forty now. Right, and he kind of has the same style. Kinda, he he kind of yeah. phones it in in a way, um, and that's that's to fine if you're that's fine if you're humble and you're nice about it. Yeah, yeah. And and, and you can even be self-deprecating. Yeah. Well, I'm a fan. I like him. He created a, a Deadpool a character that I like yeah, a lot. Yeah. And Cable, like a lot of cool characters. He's amazing at creating characters. Yeah, yeah he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he hands them off to other writers and right. artists like Brandon Graham and uh, Joe Keating and really uh, Ross and, Campbell. And, and that's that's all great. That's We're not awesome. faulting him on that. But he, uh, he when he works for other companies, he always kind of loses his mind like a day in. Yeah. Like he quit Marvel and cr and created. Image Comics back in the day, which is super cool. Yeah. But recently, he worked for DC and quit. And even quit Image Comics, <laughs> his own creation. Well, yeah, he's been calling and everyone that, like names on Twitter and like four letter words and stuff. It's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, not not very uh, professional of them. Yeah. And we were thinking. Yeah. You know, since uh, they basically did him a favor by giving him a job. Yeah. You know, it's not very professional to yeah. uh, call other people. It's super funny. Go look at him on Twitter. Yeah. But if you want to look at good comics, like Arnie and I do, you right. should read Hero Worship, which is by Avatar Press, that Arnie actually picked out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what do you I, think about it? I took a gamble. You did. A gamble. You did. Avatar is a cool company. Yeah. They do a lot of Warren Ellis stuff. They're really cool. They do Crossed. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. it's a superhero Thumbs book, up. which they don't usually do. So. It's really good, though. You want to talk about the premise of it? Yeah, it, it, it is a superhero book in a way, but in, in a way it kind of isn't, um, because yeah. it, it deals more with the people that aren't superheroes. It's kind of a Superman book, if Superman was called Zenith. Yeah. And it, it's the people who are uh, kind of like, like groupies for that character. Right. They wear like, what would Zenith do necklaces, and like, he's this like, Jesus it's, Christ it's character. It's a very real world approach to it. Yeah, he, yeah. Because you figure a guy this, this popular, this he's big, a celebrity. would be a celebrity. He'd have yeah. groupies. He's like, he, if Snooki could fly. Yeah, he'd have a, <laughs> you know, a... What's it called? A, a fan base? Yeah, and a, and a public yeah. relations manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this whole group of people, you know, coordinating for him and moving him he around. He has wranglers who manage him as if right. he was a Paris Hilton type character. Yeah. But, yeah. And yeah. The, the premise of the story deals with his fans, his uh, followers, his yeah. fanboys. They're they guys like it. Arnie and me who yeah. like, wish superheroes were real, and one finally is, so they go follow him, they put his videos on YouTube, they snap pictures and make blogs about him. They're yeah. these, these devoted, almost religious fanboy characters right. who, who I relate to instantly and liked a lot. Yeah, yeah. And really one like of them that. actually acquires powers. Yeah, he, and we don't know how. He wins a contest to go meet this guy. Yeah, yeah. And as it usually happens when you win contests to meet famous people, you don't actually meet them. You like go to their house and they give you some memorabilia or something. And you and like they touch a pencil whisk and touch you away. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's what happened. And he became part of this tour that went to go to the Zenith Foundation to go meet Zenith. Yeah. But Zenith was too busy to meet his fans. So they're taking this tour. He starts to get sick mysteriously. Yeah. And he seizures and he wakes up and the next day he has the powers of Zenith. Yeah. So we don't know if he caught it like a super STD. We don't know. We don't yeah. know what happened. But yeah. 
It's really yeah. good. It's written really well. It, Zach Penn, I'm not familiar with. Are you? Zach, Zach Penn, I believe, uh, I think, I may be mistaken, is a movie writer. Is he? I think so. That makes sense. Avatar usually works with big high name guys so, like Warren Ellis, who writes for film and TV and comics. I, I don't recognize the artist. Good, though. Good stuff. So, yeah, good art. Yeah. yeah. Um, solid writing. I enjoyed it thoroughly, both issues. Yeah, that's super Highly recommended. Arnie and I are also big Superman fans. Yeah. So the fact that there's a kid who like really loves the Superman type yeah. character was relatable and fun. Although yeah. I didn't feel a lot of Superman coming out of him. He's well, there, yeah. Kind of a prick. Yeah. Well, you don't know. Like he he won't address his fans directly, but he has the cape and the boots, and he looks iconically like a Clark Kent type character. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But so far, really good, really good. Yeah. Uh, Life Feldian is awesome. That's oh no, not even, <laughs> not even. So if you want to um, harass us on Twitter, you should find us at HNV Comics. We should we should like role play as if we're Rob Liefeld taking over HNV Comics Twitter. Mm, that's we a should, good idea. We should have some fun with that. We should I, like talk. I don't about think it. I can be as crude. Though. <laughs> or we're all over the place. We're on we're on Instagram now at HNV Comics. Instagram. Yeah, we're hip, what man. Is that? Look at what us. Is we're that? young and you're like thirty. I'm like fifty-eight. <laughs> I, I had my 87th birthday last week. Yeah, I'm, so. I know you did. And Facebook at uh, Heroes and Villains Tucson. And Tumblr. And Tumblr, Heroes and Villains Tucson. We're all over. And Google, Google us, us. You'll and, find us. Yeah. yeah. Arnie has a cooking blog that he's very quiet about that you can go find on there. So, yeah. Uh, see you later, guys. I don't know. <laughs>